pyramid shape. People get really messed up with this pyramid. Oh, it's one of those pyramid things. <laughs> so I just think there are a lot of haters out there who really don't understand the industry and say, oh, it's a, it's a get rich quick scheme. It's a pyramid. Well, corporate America is a pyramid scheme. You know what I mean? It goes like this. You have thousands of MBAs, you know, let's say working for Ford or General Motors or Coca-Cola. If all these MBAs, they're all trying to get to here. That's a pyramid. Only one guy's going to make it. You know, every 10 years, one's going to make it. Whereas you look at network market, it's like this. So you're here and your job is to develop other CEOs coming up behind you. So it's an inverse pyramid. So my friend here, Donald Trump and I, we always write about the network marketing industry. And the reason we support the network marketing industry is because it really is a business school for entrepreneurs. Because most people come out of school looking for a paycheck. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I would go into network marketing like that. I think if it didn't exist, we should invent it. It is that good. I think direct selling is a great way to do business today. It's uh, very easy to get into that industry and you can be self-employed, be in effect an entrepreneur. When we see multi-billionaires adding network marketing companies to their portfolio of companies, that would be a clue. When we see people who are very famous authors and very famous business people endorsing the industry, that would be a clue. These network marketing companies aren't fifty million dollar companies, they're billions and billions of dollars. They lead the stock market, they're major companies. When we're gonna get it. Do you know, and you're going to school to work for a paycheck, but if you want to be rich, be an entrepreneur, and network marketing gives you the spirit to be an entrepreneur. Uh, network marketing can educate consumers probably better than any other form of marketing. It certainly can do better than advertising because advertising usually has a certain hype to it and you can only get limited information. So, you know, network marketing trumps advertising. The advantage of network marketing is the ease of entry, the low risk, and the low startup cost, because almost everything else has very high risk. You can get in for a minimal investment. You're buying into a system that's already been proven, products or services that have been proven to work. The keys to network marketing is providing an opportunity for the masses to get involved, providing an opportunity for the average person who doesn't have the resources to start their own business. Instead of having to work your way up in a system and prove that you could be a sales manager, they just decided everybody can be a sales manager. Everybody gets to build a sales team from day one. I'm a tremendous believer in network marketing and I'm a great believer in entrepreneurs. I think it, it, you know, the, all the future jobs in the next 20 or 30 years will, will be created by uh, you know, network market marketing entrepreneurs and other, other entrepreneurs around the world um, starting off from scratch or starting off very small and making a real difference in the world. What's beautiful about network marketing is you get all the benefits of being an owner, but you don't have to be worried about supply chain. You don't have to be worried about accounting, especially in the world we're in today. I mean, network marketing used to be a little bit more different, but today with technology, you can know what's happening in real time. The companies have already set up the software. They know what happens. So it's really picking the right company, and there's a lot of great companies in that area. And it's really realizing that you're really a value creator. If you can go out and add value to other people's lives, if you can just introduce people to a product or a service that a company represent that truly is extraordinary, some products and services can't just be thrown up on Amazon. They need the story to be told. And if you found a product or service of that nature and you got a company that has a generous schedule of being able to reward you and then you begin to get leverage where it's not just you, where you've multiplied your efforts to other people, then you get the, all the benefits of being a business owner without all the headaches and without the same level of risk. And so I think, um, I think Network Marketing Mark's amazing. People now. who are like, oh, this is weird. I'm building a sales team. Well, what do you think you do at a regular company? How do you think a regular company works? Network marketing is the only industry that doesn't say your past determines your future. It looks at your past and says, okay, now what can we train you to do so you can have a great future? Every other employer out there wants to exploit you for what you already know, not teach you something new. Network marketing has a potential to save the United States and the world because it's gonna teach people not to be employees, but to be entrepreneurs. MLM has probably made more millionaires of more people in more countries, and I've spoken to them in 50, 67 countries than any other single form of business, starting from nothing. If they have a choice between working a job for the next 10 years 
or working a network marketing business for the next 10 years, the result of working the network marketing business will be better. You're going to see some monumental growth in this profession. It's an exciting, exciting time to be involved with the network marketing profession. The next 10 years, I see just exponential growth. People who are not afraid of asking people to buy things or not afraid of persuading people with the chance they may say no, these people own the future. There's dreams and there are nightmares, but I believe that the biggest nightmare of all is 